I guess we should turn around here soon. I don't know if they can see us. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're here at beautiful Ambleside Park shooting another episode of Canucks and Cars. We're going to be driving the Toyota Corolla across. I can't wait to get behind the wheel. <laughs> I think we need the key. <laughs> so tell me what it's like a day in the life of Dave. Oh, jeez. I get up in the morning and uh, my wife makes me eggs Benny and, you know, serves coffee. I'm, I'm going, oh. Of course I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Who inspired you to, to play hockey? Why hockey? Well, I mean, you know what? We played all, all different sports. I know uh, in Edmonton, because of the seasons, we summertime you'd play baseball, sometimes, you know, soccer, but in the wintertime, everyone played hockey. Right. And, uh, you know, I remember telling the story one time, you know, Gretzky's dad wasn't the only one that built, you know, uh, an outdoor outside, rink yeah. for them, you know, in the garden. And that's, I think when I started skating when I was two and a half. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I, I remember yeah. growing up too, being from Ontario, my dad and uh, mom would uh, build an outdoor rink for us. So living here in Vancouver, it's a little bit different, especially yeah. having kids of your own. I wish, uh, that's one thing that I do miss is, you know, the cold weather and the, the snow. But what's uh, what's one of your favorite memories playing? Like oh, talk boy. to me about the Stanley Cup finals you guys were playing in 94. That was, a, a, you know, the time of our lives for sure. Right. I mean, if we would have won, it would it would have changed many lives and, right. and throughout the city you know uh, also and you I think know, it was when, game five you scored the uh, overtime goal no I, the or? winning goal so Pavel skating up the ice with the puck and you know I had the lane to to fill in the defenseman went right to Pavel because they thought I was giving it back right to him. right and Richter slid over he gave him I don't know I made a couple inches I, I tell everyone I had to turn the puck sideways to, to, <laughs> to go short side but but you know he gave me enough room I just I just slid it in and uh, you know that was uh, what a special uh, special goal because we were up three nothing. They scored three quick ones. Madison Square Garden was going crazy. Like you you could barely talk to each other on the ice. It yeah. was so loud. Those are tough and, games. Yeah, and then uh, and then as soon as I scored that, it shut them right up. And we scored <laughs> a couple more. And uh, nice. but you know what? When you're a kid, you always you know when you're shooting pucks against the garage door or with your buddies, you know, you always think you're gonna score the Stanley Cup winning goal and right. just didn't happen. So other than hockey, you uh, you were a part of three different movies. Tell me about that. I did 3,000 Miles of Graceland and uh, somehow my my part got cut. They, they threw it on the floor. Oh no. They cut it out, which is fine. What, what a blast. What great people, you know, but, but like I said, I I was there three or four days and I, I got cut. So anyway, I don't, I don't like that movie. <laughs> um, okay. But Slapshot 2, the thing I liked about it, I did all the hockey coordinating and then the, then the director, he, he goes, well, you know, we have a part if you want. I go, well, of course, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, like what a cool I, I have to talk, you know. Yeah. Like, and you know, I, had, I had you know a bunch of lines, not, not, not too many, but I was part of the team. But it was like being in a dressing room with your buddies. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was like being on a team again. And that yeah. was, I was probably out, I don't know, four or five years already out of the game so I missed that and, that, oh, and it course. was just a huge part of it so. that's I think that's the best part about hockey too is like the, the dressing room and like it's hard to even explain the experience of just you know the dressing room type of feel right so yeah. that's part of the reason why I chose law enforcement too uh, for my you know career outside of hockey is because you're still a part of a team and uh, when you're a part of a team your whole life and then all of a sudden you're now out of that it's, it's kind of yeah, tough. It, it's certainly different. It's yeah. certainly different. But but yeah, like said, being part of the team was, it was just like you were so comfortable. And um, yeah, it was it was a blast. Well, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk today. And no, it was good. I'm glad. I'm glad we went for a drive. Yeah. Beautiful car. And uh, yeah, no, I'm glad we spent some time together. Yeah, for sure. It was nice to get to know you a little bit better. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>